The second of our top 10 Adobe Acrobat tips is going to be about editing tools. Say someone sent you a document they want you to proof, or maybe a design they want you to check over. The editing tools in Acrobat can be far more useful than you may think in these kinds of situations. So this up here is your toolbar, and it's quite handy to put the tools that you use more often on here to save you going in and out of menus. So if we head up here to Tools, Customize Toolbar, a set of options will come up. So just have a think about the ones you may use more often and then select those to go onto your toolbar. Common and Markup tools are always handy for proofreading and editing. Make sure you've got your Open File Print and Save toolbar selected. Multimedia toolbar always comes in handy. And that'll do for now. Click OK. In some situations, once you've selected your tools, you may get some tools that appear in a floating box like this on your screen. Now you don't want this because you want to be able to see all your PDFs, so if you see on the left here there's a, a light grey bar. Now you can click on that and hold it down, drag it up to your toolbar, and once a dark grey bar appears, you can let go. Excellent, so that's out of the way now. Now let's take a look at what a few of these tools do. If you hover your mouse over any of the tools, a pop-up box will appear with a description of what the tool does. There's the Cloud tool, which allows you to create a cloud around any part of the PDF that you want. We'll just undo that. You can create an arrow with this arrow tool here, pointing in any direction you wish. We've got it going down there. If we undo that, we can click on the arrow tool, click where we want the head of the arrow to start, and then drag down. There's our arrow. We'll just undo that. So this arrow tool here allows you to select text and images and copy them. So if we click here, drag over the text that we want to copy, and right click, we can copy them. We can also select images, click, right click, and copy. Once you've finished copying any text and images that you need, the hand tool will let you deselect them. You can highlight text by using this highlight tool here. You pop your cursor at the beginning of the area of text that you want to highlight, click on it and click down and drag over the area you want highlighted. There you are. You can underline text using the underline text tool just next to it. Same sort of thing. Cursor at the beginning of what you want underlined, drag over the word. You can even strike through. Exactly the same procedure. Cursor at the beginning and strike on through there. So that's a sneak peek into just a few of the many editing tools that you can use in Adobe Acrobat Pro. Next week we're on to tip number three.